Hi everyone. Happy Monday fun day. So I'm going to wait a couple of minutes and see if anybody shows up. Um, I'm hoping that they do. First thing I need to do is I need to comment on my own. I'm going to put my glasses back on guys because it's really blurry. Uh, I'm going to put my glasses back on and I'm going to say hello to everybody on you always have to comment before you can scroll. So there I am. I'm saying hi. If you're here, say hello back. Um, we haven't started anything yet. I just jumped on. So I'm waiting to see if anybody is going to show up. Hi, Michelle. How are you tonight? I hope you're having a good fun day Monday. If there is such a thing, Monday is one of my favorite days of the week. So I don't mind Mondays, but other people don't like it because they have to go back to work. I kind of like it because I do get to go back to work. So, <laughs> um, work that I enjoy, you know, like making cards and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, I just thought I'd say hello and get on here. We're going to make a card tonight and it's going to be fun, fun, fun. Yep, yep, yep. So, we're just waiting, see if anybody shows up. I'm not even sure. Um, what time it is. Oh, it's just a minute after six. And since I changed the time and I changed the day, it may take a few minutes for everybody to be able to get on. Um, I'm hoping everything is good. Of course, my son decides now is a good time to call. I'm hoping people come on. If they don't, I'm going to give them about three minutes. And if nobody shows up, then I'm just going to do my card anyway. And We'll post it later, so I'm going to go ahead and take the glasses. Woo, i got to keep the glasses on. My eyes are really blurry tonight. I don't know if it's me or if it's my allergies or what, but I'm scooting up a little bit. Well, my table says I'm as far as I can come, so I guess I'm close enough. So anyway, if you're here, please say hello so I know that I've got a few people online. I don't know, so... Um, hopefully we're going to be able to look at a card and uh, talk about some fun stuff tonight. Talk about it being a Monday instead of a Sunday. See how everybody spent their weekend. Uh, okay. Ah, hi Julie. I'm so glad you came by and said hello. It's good to see you. What a wave. <laughs> I'm kind of looking off to the side because that's where my monitor is. I'm not looking straight into the camera. Um, it's kind of nicer. You can kind of avoid looking at it. Hey, Bev, how are you doing, girl? Did you get moved? I hope so. I've been kind of wondering and thinking about you a lot lately. Like I said, every once in a while I'll have to get on and and just say something because otherwise it doesn't scroll for me. So I'm just going to say what I've already said, but you guys can just ignore that if you want to. Or there we go. See now it's scrolling a little bit. It lets me see. All right. Well, we have a few people on tonight. I hope you guys are all having a great Monday. Um, I switched this because I'm going to take my glasses off. It's going to make it blurry, but. Um, I switched my days because Sunday was running into family time. We had a baptism a couple of weeks ago, and then last this last Sunday, my husband and I had a little event that we needed to go to, and so I just forgot how much time I spend on Sundays with my family, which is crazy because, gosh, we do it every week. <laughs> but anyway, um, Bev, I'm going to have to put the glasses on, sweetie, to see what you said, so... We are here, just not all the way unpacked, just ordered a craft table. Woo, woo, a craft table. That sounds fun. I have, my craft table is a big desk that I use for writing purposes, which Bev knows that uh, I'm a writer and that uh, I write historical fiction and contemporary fiction and all that kind of stuff. So, um it's, it's really nice. I just today decided that I needed to clean off this desk because it had become more craft and less writing. And so I decided to clean off the desk and to um, make it where I could write and do crafts. So 
And you guys will have to excuse me. I have to have drinks because my allergies are year round. And that's just all I know. So I'm going to cough. <coughs> and I apologize. Iced tea is in the cup tonight. Uh, I'm unsweetened iced tea. Well, sweetened with Splenda, but not the real sugar. So anyway, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get us started. So every once in a while, you'll see me comment real quick. I'll say hi. I'll even tell you I'm going to say hi. That way it scrolls up and I can see what's going on. Um, tonight we're going to do a card. Excuse me just a second. <coughs> I must have sucked in air or something funny. Anyway, we're going to do a card tonight, and it's a, I think they call it a monochromatic card, which means we only use one color to do the whole card, which really, if you think about it, that's not exactly true because white is a color. So um, here's the card we're going to do. Is I need to ask, are my glasses bugging you guys? Are they glaring too much? Bev, Julie? Hi, Michelle. Hi, Sherry. Can anybody, hopefully I'm still alive. Let me know if my glasses are bugging you guys because, hi, Jenny, because I don't want them glaring so badly that you're going to go, you're giving me a headache. I can't take this anymore. Okay. But this is the card we're going to make. It's a monochromatic card. We're using, it says one color, but really it's two because white is a color in my book anyway. And uh, we're using, we're going to use our one of our new ink colors, um, Pretty Peacock. And so, is that right? Yeah, Pretty Peacock. So, I think this is a fun card. It's a good card. If you don't have a whole lot of colors, really is a fun, fun way to do it. Thank you, Jenny, for letting me know. I was kind of worried that they were just too glary. And... Uh, for some reason, like I said, my glasses are really blurry tonight, so I don't know if it's me or if it's the glasses or what. Anyway, so we're going to do that, and we're going to use Floral Essence. This is a new stamp set this year. I'm trying to keep the glare off of it, too. I can see, hopefully you guys can't, oops, wrong way. You guys can see that pretty good. Um, I love it because it has a beautiful, well, all three of the, the sentiments are beautiful, but it says all days are beautiful that begin with you. I think that's so precious. So I really like that one. And uh, it kind of makes me uh, think of my relationship with Christ and the fact that if I don't start my day every day with him, I don't always have a beautiful day. So I love that statement for that. And it also makes me think of my sweet man because every day that I wake up and we can see each other and laugh and spend some time together, it's a beautiful day. So because there's a lot of people out there that don't have that luxury anymore. And uh, so anyway, this is the, the one we're going to use. We are going to use, I have played with this stamp set all day today, guys. I just fell in love with it. And my lighting is really bad, and I do apologize. I'm not sure what's different, but for some reason, my lighting seems really bad. But uh, we're going to use this stamp here, and we're going to use this stamp here, and we're going to use this one although I kind of wish I had went with this one but we're going to use this one anyway since I already have it on the card and we're going to use this one right here it's the center of the flower and of course we're going to use all days are beautiful that begin with you so we're going to use this stamp set so uh, we're going to do that <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and bring my camera down hi Barbara good to see you hon um, I'm going to bring my camera down so you guys can see the table and not me. I mean, it's not all bad that you see me. You can see my little dots. Let's see. Can you see okay or is it just too dark? Ooh. For some reason, it really just went dark. And I don't know if it's the, the, I don't think it's my lighting here. My lighting here really hasn't changed. So I'm hoping that it's more on my camera side and not yours. So anyway. All right. Guys, feel free to ask me questions while I, we do this. Feel free to comment, talk to me, talk to each other if you need to. Whatever you want to do, that's why we're here. It's supposed to be fun, and we're going to have a beautiful card when we get done. And I'm going to turn it one more time so y'all can see it. See it laying on the table. Isn't that pretty? Love it. And like I said, it's one of our new in colors, so I really love it. 
But what we're going to use is the, are these stamps. I've already mounted them, so you guys don't have to watch me struggle to pull them out of this. Not that it's a struggle. This is one of the best. You can see I've played with this stamp set today. Um, I love the photopolymer stamp set because you can see through them, and they're easy to take on and off of the plastic. That's really cool. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> let me get my paper here, and I'm going to move this card out of the way. I don't, let's see, move this card out of the way, so, whoops, it's upside down now. Okay, and then I'm going to bring the paper in that I'm going to be using tonight. Okay, I am using a piece of Whisper White, and it's cut at five and a half and a fourth, and I am going to use my fingers to score it. You could use a scoreboard, but I simply just do this, and then later, before I put my card together, I will use my bone folder and we'll put everything on top of it. Then I'm going to pull in, and guys, I have cheat sheets. See, I'm, I'm smart. I have cheap cheat sheets. This is a piece of the uh, Pretty Peacock, and it is cut at five and a fourth by four. Then I have a piece, another piece of Whisper White, and I actually had to cut it down. So it is four by three and a half. That's gonna be our next layer. And then we have two small pieces that are two and a half by one inch. Now, we're going to talk about these little pieces real quick. I don't know if you noticed a while ago, but the two little pieces are these pieces right here. Whoops, I'm out of camera. I'm sorry. These pieces right here. And um, is my screen going really dark on you guys? I don't know. Let me look at the... Let me know if my screen has gone too dark. It really looks dark to me, but I don't know what's wrong with it tonight. I'm going to have to get somebody to come help me with it. Maybe Stacy can hop on and help me with it later. But anyway, this is a piece of designer series paper. It is from our 2019-2021 designer series paper. And then this, uh, it goes here and here. Now, I want to show you real quick these two pieces of paper because they're really very pretty. All of our designer paper is double-sided. That's one side, and that kind of is, that's really pretty. I like it. And then there's this side, which, as a writer, I really like this side. Um, it says, it's got it in cursive, and it says, um, let's see, create, it's hot, create, share, stamp, and repeat. And it just says that over and over and over again. I really like that, and that's what I chose to do this. Now, whenever I decided to do the other one, I decided, well, I want to try this side of the other paper because this is one side. It's the checks, which I love checks. And then it also has the diamonds, which are right here. I'm going to see. I just hate that this lighting seems so bad to me. And maybe it's the tilt of my, you know what, I bet it's the tilt of my um, thing. Hold it. If you don't mind, just hold on one second and let me see if that's my problem. Well, that's better. I had to tilt my monitor so I could see better. And that also makes it, that's why my, my vision was blurry a while ago. My, my thing was tilted too far. Okay, so you can now see better, I think, or at least I can see better, this. So tonight we're going to use this side of this paper. Earlier I used this side of this one. Okay, so isn't that fun now that they come in the different ones? That is the Pretty Peacock. This is the Purple Posy. And see, they're the same, but they're just in our different colors. Oops, sorry, that was the wrong one. Different colors, but they're still the same. I'm going to set them up there, get them out of my way. But isn't that pretty? That's the Rococo Rose, which I think is just gorgeous. Of course, I like reds and blues. I mean, pinks and blues. This is the um, Seaside Spray. Again, same pattern. And this is the Terracotta Tile, and it is gorgeous, too. The, these are just such pretty papers. I just, I love them. And these right here are six by six. They come in a pack of six by six <clears throat> paper, and I think you get four in a pack, four of each design. And you get two. Hmm. I'll have to think about that because now I've confused myself. But you get quite a bit of paper to play with. And the reason why I could have taken this piece of paper 
and I could have cut it like right here and then taken my paper and put on top of it like this so that it would still have a little bit here and here. But to me, that wastes all of this in the middle. So I decided to cut mine down. And you guys will probably get a good laugh when you get to see me uh, start trying to put it together here in a minute. Okay, so back to where we were at. We have our Whisper White that I've already scored. Then we have the Peacock, Pretty Peacock, which we're going to, to layer next. Now we have our white, our Whisper White. And it is four by three and a half. <clears throat> and that's what we're going to stamp on tonight. Okay, so I'm going to set these two off to the side because we will use them, but we're going to use them afterwards. Uh, this I'm, I've shown these to you before, I'm sure, but these are our new ink pads, and you can either push them here, and it clicked. Did you hear it click? And then you can just pull it up and slide it. Sorry, I was off camera. You can pop it here with your thumbs. Did you hear it? Then you can pull it up. I'm really holding on to it tight. <laughs> pull it up and slide. It's like a compact in a lot of ways. Okay, so I'm going to set that here up at the top so I don't get my little fingers all gookied in it. And then I'm going to pull out my um, stampin' uh, piercing mat, stampin' piercing mat. And guys, this is a great mat for when you're using the photopolymer. And I have a deal, well actually Stampin' Up! has a deal too, but Stampin' Up! has a deal right now. <clears throat> when you purchase $50 from Stampin' Up!, they're giving you a $5 coupon to use next month on your next order. I'm going to sweeten the pot just a little bit. If you order anything, everything for $50 or more from me, you're only going to get your $5 coupon, but you're also going to get one of these neat stamping mats. And these are really nice. You can use them to stamp with your photopolymer, but they're also good for if you wanted to poke a hole <clears throat> in a piece of paper using your uh, pokey tool. It's not called a pokey tool, but that's the only thing I can think of. You can actually use it to poke through your paper and it protects your surface below it. So that's kind of cool. And yes, it does leave the little marks. And some of the demonstrators that I know, they have two uh, they use one for pokey in and one for their photopolymer. I just flip it over for the photopolymer side. And I pokey on the other side. To me, it, it's not that big of a deal, okay? So let's get back to our stamping. That's enough for a commercial, right? Okay, we're going to use this stamp. Let's see. I'm going to take my I'm going to take my paper. Can you see it? We're going to use that stamp. It's the one that's got most of the white, most of the space open. <clears throat> and we're going to, I'm going to kiss, kiss my stamp pad. You don't have to, you don't have to push and grind. These are so easy to use. And you can tell it's really inked up good. <clears throat> and guys, this, this card can be made several different ways. And no two cards look the same. Oh, crud. And I just stamped on my, excuse me for a minute while I grab a piece of scrap paper. Can't believe I did that. I just stamped on my my pokey tool thingy bigger. Okay, I'm just grabbing a piece of another piece of paper. It's okay, it won't hurt it. I just don't like it. I like my paper, I like my thing to be clean. Okay, so back to the stamping. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, and you can stamp this however you want. Like I said, I there it's a random thing. I'm thinking I'm gonna do one there. And I think I'm just gonna do maybe teeny tiny bit right here at the top and the reason I'm doing it a little bit different is because I think I want to put more um, leaves in at this time than I did last time so over here on the side is my my um, simply chamois I love this thing it's easy my stamp is clean don't have to worry about that anymore sorry I know that was loud then I'm gonna get out my other flower stamp that I decided to use tonight <clears throat> and it is more solid but it has the little white lines in it that make it look almost like it's embossed, which is really cool. Embossed looking without the lines. And then I'm just going to, I think I'm going to put one here in the corner. And I think I want another one. Let me just, I think I want to put it right here. Now, if you talk too much and you, you've been talking, 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 and you think your ink might have dried out a little bit, all you have to do is bring it up and go, 
I huffed on it to re-wet it because it is a, a water-based ink. And if you drop this on your pants, guys, uh, it'll wash right out. It's not, it's going to wash out because I've done it. I'm speaking from experience here. Then what we're going to do, that one's clean now. I've used it so it's a little pinky, but it's clean. Oh, I forgot to put my sentiment in. <gasps> Yikes. Let's see if we can find a place to get it in there. I may have to show you guys what happens when you boo-boo. Ooh, it will fit, but... Okay, we're going to try it and see if I like it. If I don't like it, I'm going to show you what happens. Hmm. Eh, wouldn't have fit down there either. I'm going to start over. <clears throat> Two sides to every piece of paper, right? Okay, before I start, let's be smart about this. And let's stamp our sentiment. Sorry about that, guys. I promise I'll stamp fast because you've already seen me do it. You don't need a, you don't need me to do it too fast, but you don't need me to do it too slow either. So there's one. I'm going to bring one down here. Like I said, no two are ever the same. Clean it real fast. Grab my other one. You know, this is a good uh, lesson in you forgot about the birthday party and you needed a quick card. Thank goodness you can stamp fast with these. All right, there's plenty there. Okay, we're back where we started, but now we have a sentiment. Yay! Okay, now we're going to do our leaf. And as you notice, all my colors are going into this uh, pretty peacock. And I want, I don't want to cover up any of my flower. I'm just picky that way. <clears throat> That's pretty. And then I think I'm going to bring it down here and I'm just going to put a leaf in the corner. Maybe put a different Ah, well, too late now. Another leaf in that corner. Leaves are on top of flowers, right? That's why we have flowers. We like all the pretty leaves and the pretty everything. And in that corner. Okay, guys, that's pretty good, don't you think? <clears throat> say hello if you're still here. Or maybe I should say hello and see if you've been commenting. Oh, wow, and you have. Let's see, real quick. Hi, Stacy. Good to see you too, Barbara. Yep, it was on the camera side. You're right, Jenny. Thank you. Okay. Your stamp pad says pretty peacock, but it looks like Knight of Navy, and it looks good like that. So pretty. Thanks, Stacy. You know, on, on these, it really is. Hi, Jeannie. It's good to see you too. Better than me. I stamped. <laughs> if you ever stamp on... Guys, I'll give you a quick tip while Stacy brought that up. If you ever take and you're stamping away over here in your, in your, um, I think she said, her yellow ink pad, you're over here on your yellow, and then you stamp over here in your blue, you go, oh, no, you can do a couple of things. Stacy did a very good thing. She took her Simply Chamois, and she used it to dab it off. You can also do the same thing with your, uh, with a piece of paper towel. Or something like that. You just kind of dab it. Don't push because if you push it goes into your ink pad and it's hard to get out. Okay. So just dab it. So be real careful with that. Uh, hi Marty. And then that will help you quite a bit to be able to get that out of there. And then you can always take a re-inker and um, redo it. <clears throat> hi Norma. All the way from Delaware. It's good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, back to our card, guys, because I don't want to keep you here all night. I can yak till the cows come home. And since we don't have no cows here, we better quit. Okay, I'm, ooh, I just looked at my block, and I saw where I had a lot of uh, ink on it. So I'm going to get that off, off the block itself. I'm, I'm pretty good at that. So let's get that off. Okay, we're going to use now the center to the flower. So I'm just going to dab it in there. And then I'm going to put it in the flower that has the most white. I could put it in all of them, but it, if you put the same color in these flowers, 
it causes your flower to not look like a flower anymore. So there we go. There's that. And I think that part of it's done. So I need to put this ink pad away before I ink up my elbow or something else. And then we're going to get to our to this part of our card. So I'm going to move these two things out of the way because I need to have myself some elbow room. I'm going to grab my uh, snail adhesive <clears throat> and I'm going to grab my um, silicone mat which is kind of dirty because I've been using it a lot today. It feels kind of gritty. So what I'm going to do and I'm sure you guys can, I'm going to turn it where you can kind of see that the, this is the top here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put a piece here. And then I'm going to try to line it up and I'm going to put a piece here. This is going to require me to pick it up. So I'm going to pick it up so it might be hard for you to see. Uh, if you're new, if you just came back, this is my boo-boo from all ago. Oh, not on that. Get too much on that. It's not good. We're going to use this side. We're going to turn our snail around like it goes. And, you know, I got my thing, and then I tried to put it on my paper. How smart am I? Okay. This is much easier. <laughs> Wrong side. This is much easier than it was with the other paper because I don't know why my snail is having a problem. There it goes. Um, then the other paper paper because um, with the other paper it had the writing and I had to make sure my writing was going the right way. With this piece all I have to do is just make sure that I try to you know get it pretty pretty even. And Also I'm hoping I didn't look I think I need to come up to about right there to make it so I know I have just a little bit of adhesive on that side but that's okay. There we go. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this part. And you can kind of fill your paper. And if you got an edge that feels a little rougher than the other one to you, I always turn that snail upside down, guys. I don't know what my deal is. But I do. <clears throat> um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Whatever I was going to say, it'll come back to me. I always lose my train of of my snail. I always turn it the wrong way. Okay. All right. There. There that part is. The rest of this is easy peasy. We're just going to take <clears throat> and first off I'm going to make sure uh, I did it too short. So before this really adheres big I'm going to bring it down and test it. You know, just a little bit because if I don't bring it down a little bit down here, they're going to be off balanced, which I'm always said I was a crooked stamper, but I don't want to be an off balanced one. That just sounds wrong, doesn't it? Okay, let's see how we did now. <laughs> well, it's it's okay. No, it's not. I can't stand it. I gotta bring this up just a little bit. See, I didn't do this with the lines the last time. I did it with the let the words. And so that's a little better. So you don't want to put a whole lot of adhesive on it to start because if you gotta move it around like I'm doing. Okay, now that's good enough. We're not playing with it no more. We're going to move that out of the way. And we're going to put the, I'm putting my snail right on that green because it's going to hold that green down as well. Then I'm going up to the corners. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Going to the corners to do this and then just a quick right through the middle. Ta-da! Now I'm going to move my, my mat out of the way because I don't want to stick to my, my mat. And then what you do here is you try to, to get this where it's, pretty straight. Get it there pretty straight. Poke it down. Now I have just a little bit hanging off the end here. I'm just going to take my snips and I'm going to cut that little bit off. I'm going to tell you guys what happened to me earlier. You're going to 
really think I'm crazy. When I made this card the first time earlier, I got it all done. Oh, by the way, I'm going to pop this card up. I kind of like the look of it with it popped up. So I'm going to use my dimensionals. I'm going to pop it up. But I was putting it on and everything. And Remember I told you we were going to use our bone folder and we were going to we were going to brandish, brand, push this down. I never say that word right, so I don't know why I try. But we're going to push this down. When I did that with my other one, I used my the one I use all the time here at the house. And I had, the night before last, I had used it to uh, even out some ink. And I had a little tiny speck of pink ink. And I didn't realize it. And so I got it, and I, I had this already on here and everything. And I looked down, and there's a piece of ink right there. And I thought, oh, I'll just get my color lifter, and I'll lift that right up, and it'll be just perfect. I got that color lifter, and I'll be dogged if it didn't just smear. And not only did it smear there, it went through the paper onto the other paper. And I was going, no, I've worked so hard, because I was designing the card earlier, and it took me a lot longer than it's taken me now, although I know you know that's not easy to believe. Um, I'm really popping this up, guys. I'm just yakking and putting them on there. You know what? It looks uneven, so I'm going to stick another one on it. Um, the nice thing, they give you 300 of those, so I can be a little bit wasteful, I guess. But anyway, I had to cut this part off. I had to cut it out from under there. So I was glad I had popped it up on the dimensions, because otherwise it would have been, I would have just had to cut it apart, and, and then it wouldn't have been very pretty, and I'd have been whiny, and See, as it is, I'm not whining. I'm telling you of a victory I had today. So, here comes some more eyeballing. And the nice thing about the dimensions is I can kind of hold it up above it and then just kind of drop it into place. And before I smear it, push it down, I can make sure that I'm pretty straight. And I think that's pretty straight. What do you think? Pretty straight? <clears throat> I think it's not too bad. No, I'm still live, Jeannie. Oh, Stacy's already answered you. Good. Okay, now, the next thing I need to do is, I didn't show you the inside of this card, but on the inside, I took and put another flower, and I put one of our facet jewels on there, which thankfully I still have those on my table. I was thinking, hmm, I don't know if I even have those. So I'm going to go ahead and open this back up, and I'm going to grab this again. <clears throat> and just, like I said, just kiss it. Don't, don't hit it. Don't go down deep into it. You'll just mess up your stuff, which I can look at that and see I don't have a good coverage. There we go. And see, that's what I was telling you about these clear. I love the clear ones because of this purpose. Okay, we're going to go in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I bet you guys thought I wasn't going to count tonight, huh? And there we go. That's done. I'm going to clean it off on my Simply Chamois. And I'm going to grab one of our faceted jewel dots. And with my pokey tool, I only have one big one left. With my pokey tool... I'm going to just place it right there. Now, isn't that pretty? The people can... Don't stick it in your ink. What are you thinking, girlfriend? Okay, let's put that away before I get ugly with it. You can just take it and write whatever you want to here or on this side, and it is gorgeous. Plus, because this is popped up and because it's on the inside, that jewel is, when you put it in your envelope, which, by the way, I did my envelope. I stamped the... the little flap and then I turned around and I stamped the inside where you would put your address right up here and your their address yours and theirs. Isn't that cute? But anyway when you put it in that that jewel is not going to get messed up when it goes through the postal service. And when I do have something like this on it, I usually just go in and say, can you hand stamp this now so that it won't tear up your machine? They kind of would do it for you if they think it might tear up their machine. So Guys, there's our card, <clears throat> there's our envelope, and that's what I've done today. Now, I want to real quick tell you about my stamp club that I have. It's, it's a, actually an online club, and this month, 
well, not this month, the month of August, <clears throat> I'm going to be offering the punch that goes with this stamp set. So it's a bundle. And I'm going to have the faceted, 2000 faceted jewels. This is um, Pretty Peacock. This is Purple Posy, Terracotta Tile, Seaside Spray, and Rococo Rose. And then, as you guys know, I love my Wink of Stella. <gasps> Ooh, and I'm so glad I saw that because on my card, I forgot to give my card a little bling. So here goes the Wink of Stella. It goes into these just to give it a little shimmer. Rhonda likes her bling, so she gives it a little shimmer. So we're going to use the Wink of Stella too. So that's going to go in our online club. And what happens is you order this and it gets sent to your house. And it costs $57. Now, not only do you get this for $57, but I will may I will send you the card kit to make this card and let me find my other two cards. And this card will be making it. And here you can see we this one is done with gorgeous grape. And uh, the little jewel dots are pur purple posy ones. They go really good with that. So you get to do that. Okay. Then this is the third card that we're going to make. And what I like about it, I'm sorry, I'm a little high. What I like about this one is it's a really simple card to make. And we are going to use our Wink of Stella in the flowers. But then there's a little surprise inside. And I am going to send you the little envelope with your card kit. It'll be in the little envelope. And it's good for putting, um, this one's got my business card because I couldn't find my other card, um, like a gift card. I couldn't find one. So I just stuck my business card in there. And if you were running a business, that would be perfect. You could do, let's say you're a writer like Bev, you would put your business card in there and you could give this card to an editor while you're at conference or something like that. That would be kind of fun, don't you think? So you'll also get the envelopes that come with it. Then as a gift for me, for placing an order for, from me, I'm going to give you what's called a color, oh, it just left my brain. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I lost what it's, what it's called. It's called a color. Stacy, do you know what this is called? Um, watch her say no. <laughs> anyway, it's a it's a color thing. And what you do is okay. Like we use flirty flamingo. You can look at this chart. It's a color chart. You can look at this chart, and it says flirty flamingo, and it tells you that gorgeous grape goes good with it, and so does night of navy. So does Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Mary Merlet, and Soft Suede. So you, if you don't, you know, you're kind of like, well, I don't know what colors I really want to use, and you decide that you're going to um, do this, then, you, you know, you're like, well, I want to use, let's say you want to use Night of Navy. All you have to do, now mine is upside down because that's the way I printed mine. But I will print yours where you, all your pages go the same direction. So let's go to Nine of Navy. And this is upside down to me too, guys. So I'm kind of looking at it. There's Nine of Navy. Okay, let's say you wanted to use Nine of Navy. It tells you right here you could use Balmy Blue, Dan Daffodil Delight, Rich Razzle Berry. I always want to say Razzle Dazzle. Uh, Coastal Cabana, uh, Calypso Coral, and Mango Melanie. Now, if you don't have those colors and you're looking at this, it will show you what colors go with it. So you could say this color of a purple, it doesn't have to be the rich razzleberry. It's actually kind of a purpley pink. But you could look at it and go, oh, I've got a color like that. I've got a color like this balmy blue. They called it sky something before. So you could go with any of that, guys. So you're going to get that from me also. And it's going to have the little ring and it's going to be, you know, where you can just Pull it out and start using it as soon as you get it. This is a great little tool. So for $57, all you have to do is go online to my store at rondagibson.net. Go to the Stampin' Up! page. 
look on the right hand side and you will see where it says shop with Rhonda or shop with me go there and you can just pick out these items and I in the description I'm gonna have um, what these items are now if you decide that that's a little bit too much trouble and you want me to order it for you if you order it your total is $57 plus your tax um, actually yeah it'll be like probably fifty seven dollars with your plus you're gonna to have to pay your shipping and your tax which I'm not sure what that is where you live because everybody's is different but if you decide that that's too much trouble and you want me to order it for you then um, it'll cost you fifty seven plus eight fifteen it'll cost you uh, sixty eight dollars is that right let me get my pen out guys I love scratch paper 57 plus 8 it's going to cost you $65 okay and the way I get I take payment for that is through PayPal once I get your payment I will order the I will order the stuff you've got until um, August the 10th to let me know and to send your PayPal payment okay of $65 Okay. Um, at that time, you will, I will get everybody's orders together, and on August the 11th, I'm going to go into Stampin' Up, and I'm going to order everybody's stuff. It takes them about a week to get it here. Then I will put your packets all together, and then I will mail them out, and I will let you know uh, because I will be sending it priority since I'm, I'm asking for the eight dollars. It'll come priority mail. It'll be insured and it will be um, have a tracking number and I will get you a tracking number okay so that's what I'm doing for the month of August um, some of you may know that I'm about six hundred dollars away from becoming a silver uh, demonstrator which means I get a 25 percent discount instead of just the 20 percent plus um, that also means I have a team that I'm building I will get extra flex points towards a vacation trip that this next the next vacation trip that I can earn is going to the Eastern Caribbean and so I'm really excited about that so I want to do that too so anywho I'm gonna pull this back up let you see my, my lovely face there you go anyway I would appreciate it if you ordered from me like I said um, it doesn't have to be a huge order any do any order that's fifty dollars is um, going to get you that five dollars from Stampin Up and it's going to get you a uh, stamping piercing mat from me so as soon as I see that you've placed an order then I always send out thank you cards to everybody that orders from me and you're going to get that stampin mat from me also um, look for the hostess code it's on my blog it's it's right here also I have it well it's taped down but it's a h four e h seven p j and use that and that will get let that will alert me faster if I have that code uh, Stampin' Up will let me know that you've placed an order okay so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you um, if you have any questions about anything if you want to join my team now's a good time for $99 you get $155 worth of product uh, free shipping and I, all you have to pay on its tax which here in the state of New Mexico that's about $107 for $155 worth of product plus a paper pumpkin plus all of the stuff you need to run a business if you decide you don't want to run a business you just want to be a hobby demonstrator that's awesome nobody's going to question you and uh, you're welcome to do that and what that means is you get 20% off of anything that you purchase and you get that through December and we're fixing to have our Christmas catalog come out you get to order from that uh, a month before everybody else because you're a demonstrator with your with your 20% off and then be right before January I think it's in December is when we start ordering our occasions and celebration items and again demonstrators get to do that a month before everybody else so you will have that benefit too if you just if you if you cannot 
spend $100 a month, which really adds up to 80 after they take out your 20%, then you will roll off the books. Nobody's going to call you. Nobody's going to harass you. Nobody's going to say, you have to send us a letter before we can let you out. You know, you just gently roll off the books. And if at a later time you want to rejoin Stampin' Up, you are welcome to do that. We will welcome you back with open arms. So if you have any questions, go to rondagibson.net for your purchasing needs. If you want to join my team, if you want to get Paper Pumpkin, all of that is on rondagibson.net under Stampin' Up on the right-hand side. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? Oh, I just thought of something. <laughs> I told you I got a lot of information to throw out here. Wednesday is going to be Wacky Wednesday Tip Day. And what that means, I'm going to come on about 6 o'clock in the evening, and I'm only going to be on here for maybe 2 to 10 minutes, and I'm going to give you a tip for the day of something with Stamping Up. Um, like today, I gave you the quick tip about how to get ink out of your ink pad. Um, a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, I gave you a tip on how to put your cling mount stamps on uh, with the washi tape. That was a quick tip. That's the kind of tip you're going to get from me. Then on Fridays, I'm going to do 13 going on 30, Kid Day Friday. And what that means is whether you're a kid that's 13 years old, 12 years old, 9 years old, I don't care how old they are. <laughs> if you want to get on with your children and watch me make a card using one of our kid-friendly stamp sets, love to have you. If you like being a kid at heart, then you're going to love some of our stamp sets this year. We've got, I think I counted up about 12 in our catalog right now that are kid-friendly and that are bugs and dinosaurs and mermaids and dogs and cats and um, animals of all kinds, pigs, cows. I mean, we've got it all. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going to have that day. And it's going to be kind of like this, only it's just going to be mainly geared towards kids. So there's not going to be a lot of sales pitch and asking you to do a lot of stuff, okay? So please join me Monday, Wednesday, Fridays for live at 6 o'clock Mountain Time. I would love for you guys to become customers. I would love for you guys to become teammates. I would love for you guys just to keep being my friend and listening to me ramble. Uh, I love and appreciate all of you. So thank you so much for coming by. If you have any questions, which I haven't seen any, but I haven't, let me say something and see if it, oops, see if it will let, if it'll scroll up a little bit. And it did just a little bit. And I guess it was just me. So if you don't have any questions, I guess this Gibson girl is going to say bye for now. And thank you so much, guys, for coming by. I hope that you take advantage of some of the fun things that Stampin' Up! is offering. I hope you come back on Wednesday and get that fun tip for the week. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. This Gibson girl's out of here. <laughs>